What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to tvOS 18.3, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have a new software update available. You can see here by going into the system and then going to software update, we have a new software and it's tvOS 18.3 beta 3 with the new build number that finally ends with an A and the new build is 22K 5538A. It ends with an A, which means it's more stable compared to some other previous betas that we've heard. And here, I'm just quickly going to download and install this update. But at the same time, this is not all that Apple released today. In fact, they are releasing updates as we speak right now. And tvOS just came out like four hours before some of the other updates that I'll show you here. But on the Apple developer pages, you can see they haven't updated iOS 18.3 beta 3 yet. I don't believe it's out, but when it comes to like uh, other updates such as watchOS 11.3 beta 3, this update is actually out, but the Apple developer page hasn't yet been updated. You can see right here on my iPhone, if I go to my Apple Watch application, it's actually showing up watchOS 11.3 beta 3, but on the developer page, like I mentioned, it hasn't yet been updated. And at the same time, when it comes to iOS, I don't think it's yet out, but it doesn't mean that Apple won't release it. For now, iOS 18.3 beta 2 is what's showing up, but beta 3 hasn't yet been released, but they might release it as a late update, just like what they did with watchOS. So those are just some of the other updates that have been released so far today, tvOS and watchOS, and HomePod OS has also been released. For now, I'm just quickly going to finish updating my Apple TV to tvOS 18.3 beta 3, and then we're gonna see what this software update has to offer. My device is now up to date, and you can see when we go into the system settings right there, and then go to software update, and then check for an update, we are up to date with the latest tvOS 18.3 beta, and you can see our beautiful number has been updated to reflect the current latest build. In terms of what Apple has changed when it comes to tvOS 18.3, there is code that suggests that Apple will add support for their robot vacuum to HomeKit, which we has talked about at WWDC last year. And this year, Apple has added it, which means it will be a supported category in the Home app in tvOS 18.3. Also, according to the code in tvOS 18.3, you can see that we have a new digital sales notice that will eventually soon pop up once it's initiated. And this one will basically tell you that when you purchase access to this item, you can permanently download it on your or to your iPhone, iPad, Mac, or PC, which is interesting that PC is mentioned. And then it says once downloaded, you can access this without an internet connection and Apple can't remove it from your device. If you purchase this from the Apple TV app on Apple TV, smart TVs or other streaming devices, you can't download it on those devices, but you can easily download it on compatible devices. This is just a quick digital sales notice so that you know what devices and how it's going to behave once you purchase an item on Apple TV app on your Apple TV. One of the few things I wanted to talk about when it comes to tvOS 18.2, since a number of people have reached out asking why Snoopy screensavers are not showing up on their Apple TV, the new Snoopy screensaver is great. It was introduced on tvOS 18.2. And as you can see, this is actually me showing it right here. If I swipe up on my remote, you can see what it does. And you know, it's going to be interacting with his friend right there. And they are going to be doing many different animations when you are not using your Apple TV, he's going to take multiple rests like this. The reason why you are not getting the new Snoopy screensavers on your Apple TV is that unfortunately the device support hasn't been updated from tvOS 18.2 to 18.3. It's still the same and currently you still need an Apple TV 4K second gen or later and Apple does have like a, an Apple TV dedicated page that helps you to know which device you have. So tvOS 18, I believe is supported from the Apple TV HD going forward. So this is a device that's almost like 10 years old. It does support tvOS 18 and in extension tvOS 18.3. And though the tvOS 18 points that are going to be coming out in the future, so 18.4, 18.5, this device is most likely going to support that. But then I doubt that this is going to support tvOS 19 because already on some of the new 
updates that we have this is not supported on the new snoopy screensavers among other new features on tvos 18.2 going forward but even though it gets the update it does not show those features and tvos uh, the apple tv 4k first gen is also there but it doesn't support snoopy but in order for you to see the new snoopy screen savers you need this one which is the apple tv 4k second gen and the apple tv 4k third generation it can be the wi-fi or it can be the wi-fi plus ethernet as long as you have the apple tv 4k second gen or newer which was you know basically 2021 and newer then you're going to be getting the new snoopy screensaver it's kind of unfortunate but hey this is just an fyi if you're still opening and closing your blinds or shades using this old manual method then you gotta get in style with allison's new smart blinds not only can these blinds open and close themselves according to different parameters that you can set but one of my favorite feature that these blinds support is alexa and google voice assistant I'm among others so that means i can use my device and say hey google close blind one okay closing the blind one I like that these Allison blinds come with everything you need to install them from start to finish. Because these blinds are battery powered, you don't have to worry about getting power from an outlet and running different cables to the blinds. They actually come with solar panel chargers that have a USB-C connection that plugs into the back of the blinds. They automatically charge and because of that, you actually don't have to worry about your blinds running out of battery. Each individual blind comes with these small controllers that can be used to send the blinds up or you can stop the blinds or you can even lower the blinds just like this there's also the smart emitter that allows you to control up to 15 different blinds and you can control each blind individually so if i want to control blind number one up i can just send number one up if i want to go to number two and send it up then i can be able to do that it can be wall mount as well there's also the wi-fi bridge that allows you to control the blinds using your smartphone to set up phone control and the different assistants that you can choose from you can download the to your smart or the smart life app this will give you the ability to open and close your blinds according to your need and set different parameters allison has different smart shades and blinds that they have to offer and they are continuously releasing new products so check the description below to find out one that works for you and level up your game initially with tvos 18 apple had talked about uh, releasing apple tv original show screen savers but with tvos 18.3 it has actually been removed in the code but thanks to mac rumors right here and aaron paris we have more information on that on what apple was planning to do or what they will eventually do in the future if they do pull this off so they were planning two categories the first was going to be uh tv and then the other was going to be movie categories of screensavers based on content from apple tv plus series and movies and of course the second was a soundscape category of screensavers overlaid with relaxing background sounds which was going to be interesting to see and they were going to be including water and nature sounds but at least with tvos 18.3 even in this beta 3 there's no evidence of that being mentioned in the code yet so it's either been cancelled or postponed most likely it's postponed as apple had talked about this is one of the features coming with tvos 18 but at this point in time it hasn't yet been released in general when it comes to this new update of tvos 18.3 beta 3 that i've been using for a couple of hours now i would say it feels pretty smooth and polished and of course when you go to the new what's new screen right there it's going to look like this it's slightly different from what you see if you are on tvos 18.2 so this is what you see on 18.3 they seem to talk about snoopy so much and yeah it was one of the requested feature that a lot of people wanted and there is no like uh, audio setting that has been added for improved audio pass through over hdmi or dolby atmos at least for now but 
it doesn't mean that we won't see it as it's one of the things that a lot of people have reached out to me for but in general it feels smooth the apple tv app is continuously getting new shows and it's been updated not that i can keep up watching all of them but yeah it's one of the new things and the new library that was talked about that the apple tv app on ipad os was supposed to get hasn't yet been implemented in the apple tv app on the apple tv so it's kind of unfortunate but at least for now you can see this update is working and it's continuously been updated not that it has a lot to offer and um, since we are now on a weekly release when it comes to apple tv updates i would say the next beta that is expected probably another a build is going to come next week between the week of the 20th right there so it could be on the 20th of january to the 21st i prefer monday releases because it goes better with most other schedules but for now this is what we have when it comes to tvOS 18.3 if you're waiting for a new apple tv to be released this year i'll be happy to let you know more that at least according to mark german we do have an update of that for some reason this page is using more uh resources a new apple tv 4k is anticipated to be released or expected to be released this year and according to bloomberg's mark german in his um, first power on newsletter he mentions that a new apple tv is in the plans that of apple when it comes to devices or hardware that they are planning to release for 2025 and it's expected to be released at towards the end of the year sometime in october and you can see that when it comes to some of the new features that this new apple tv might have one of the highlighted things are a new apple made wi-fi modem which could lead to network improvements with apple expanding home device ecosystems and maybe since there is talk of apple intelligence at least the ui coming to the apple tv apple would need to upgrade the chip that is currently in the apple tv in order to support apple intelligent features not that there's many that the apple tv is going to support but they would have to at least put an a17 pro chip or an a18 chip in order for it to bring apple intelligence to the apple tv and of course upgrade the ram that's just a quick update right here if you're waiting for the new update and um, tvos 18.3 if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video